aggravating, yet empowering. Sad, but inspirational. Depressing, and at the same time, hopeful. Hopeful images from the hijab protests all around the world. The rain had stopped, but the pain yet is in here. Following the senseless death of a 22-year-old Iranian girl. Mahmoud Darwish, a Palestinian poet and freedom fighter, one day in his lonely cell wrote it down, high to an earth which was created for peace, but never seen a day with peace. An immoral act of a morality police. The pessimist within me fears what if all the efforts fade away? The optimist in me defers. Something has changed. Something is different. Women are taking the lead. Mighty, brave, and unyielding women. Nevertheless, it shall not be forgotten. Before each Berlin Wall collapsed, its foundations were eroded and chipped away. Now, imagine a world where your moms, sisters, daughters, their basic civil rights are being denied. They are subjected to strict dress codes, limited employment and educational opportunities. They are even treated unequally under the law. This is a harsh reality for millions of women around the world. Their existence is under oppression since the day they are born. As my sister, she was born with half the rights that I have. Yet, these girls are the most fearless people I have ever seen in my life. The seed of bravery has been planted long ago. And those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. 1852, in Iran, a woman called Tahira Guratulain, she was killed because of refusing compulsory hijab and demanding to join men for social activities. Of course, it was not the only attempt at that time. Fast forward to the modern era of Iran, a few years before World War I. Many women and men work alongside each other to bring about a reform a reform in political and social systems. After the reform, it was written that women are not allowed to vote. They ranked women, children, mentally ill and disabled individuals the same. With all the struggles, they showed their determination almost 60 years ago when finally they obtained the rights to vote and eventually entered parliament. Not surprising from a country where women are better educated than men. In fact, 
almost 60% of graduates in the world are girls. Iran was called an island of stability, 1977. But people could see that a change is needed. 1979, suddenly, a revolution happens. But the change was not the change they had in mind. Now, they lose their rights in divorce, in child custody, in inheritance. They are not allowed to work in certain jobs. It feels to me as if they have become refugees in their homeland and all their efforts being forgotten. Unlike the past societal movements, this time has not started because of corruption, economic crisis, unemployment, and so on. Then what has changed? What is different? What has ignited the movement? Of course, Iran is just an example in this scenario, the scenario of oppressing women. Right now, there are many female activists and feminists in jails all around the world, including young women, but they are not mentioned in anywhere because they are not famous. Apparently, the state see women as the first line of opposition and accuse them of acting against national security. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. This is a price for our freedom and dignity. The price that we pay, and we do pay it, It has to go down in our history that women are keep fighting for justice, for freedom and their rights. Martin Luther King, in one of his speeches to his followers, he said, if you cannot fly, then run. If you cannot run, then walk. If you cannot walk, then crawl. But you have to do something. You need to do something. You have to keep moving forward. The slogan, women, life, freedom, involves millions of people every day. The struggle for being treated, respected, and valued equally. And it has shown already its ability for global expansion. Our unity paves the path. Our unity paves the path by bringing men and women together, shoulder to shoulder, to achieve freedom and dignity. As a Persian poet, Hamid Mossadegh, he describes it beautifully in a few words. Who doesn't want you and I to become we? If I rise up, if you rise up, all will rise up. If I sit, if you sit, 
who will then rise up? I have faith. I have faith on mothers, sisters, daughters. I have faith on girls who fight for their freedom and their rights. I have faith on all of them, as I do have faith in a few words given by Nazar Kabbani. A day when we use our machine guns as vase. A day when we plant bullets in gardens. There will not be any sign of you and me. But your scarf blowing in wind will be the flag of peace. For women, life, freedom. <laughs>